can do fish in it, whatever you choose. It's a little bit different from the sauce that we made earlier. It's a little bit more thick, more sugary, more like a syrup. This, we're gonna do, just use exactly the same ingredients, actually, it's just in different proportions. So we've got soy sauce, sugar, fresh ginger, fresh garlic. I've actually pre-diced these or pre-sliced so that it's a little bit faster and easier. You can take your, your soy sauce, put it in a container. You can either use a measuring cup or a large bowl. We're gonna add sugar to taste. Start with a couple of tablespoons, two, maybe three heaping tablespoons. Take ginger, this is fresh ginger that I've just sliced and we're actually going to mince this up a little bit. Get a little bit more flavor of it. We're not gonna be pulling this out of the marinade when we make it, so we wanna make it a little bit smaller pieces so that when if you get a bite of it, you're not um, burning your lips or your tongue. about probably two tablespoons of fresh ginger and then garlic and you can you can leave the garlic in or take it out if you don't like if you're not a garlic person it doesn't affect the recipe too much if you don't use it so just nice minced garlic about a tablespoon is sufficient And then depending on the soy sauce that you use, some soy sauce, if you if you use that, that store brand that you'll find at most of the stores, it's, it's not very strong. So you could almost use it straight. I usually add probably another half a cup to a cup of water to dilute it just a little bit. So I've added just about a half a cup of water. I'm gonna stir it up and let the sugar dissolve. Once the sugar is dissolved, just take a taste of it. To me that's still just a little bit salty, so I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. I'm going to add another tablespoon or two. So that's almost five tablespoons of sugar that we've put in there. We just taste it again and it's a little bit salty still. I'm going to add a little bit more water. That will help dilute the salt. That's good. You don't want it to be too sweet or too salty. Now that your marinade is ready, go ahead and add it to your boneless skinless chicken thighs, your steak, your seafood, whatever you're going to put it in. Uh, Put it in a reclosable, sealable plastic bag, quart size, gallon size is probably better. It depends on how much quantity you have. We've done one earlier. This has been marinating for most of the day. Uh, you can actually freeze it in these bags so you can make up a bunch of them. You know, do three or four bags full, freeze it like this so that when you feel like having teriyaki chicken or teriyaki steak or whatever you're making, it's ready to go. You just pull it out of the freezer. It's been marinating in this. As it's thawing, it's, it's getting that flavor. It's good to go. This chicken's been marinating for most of the day. We're going to go ahead and throw it on the barbecue, grill it up, and once it's done, we're going to slice it up and drizzle it with some of our teriyaki sauce that we made earlier. Chicken is looking just about perfect. We're going to go ahead and pull that off the barbecue, take it inside and chop it up. Chicken is cooked beautiful off the barbecue. It's got some nice caramelized flavors there. 
All we're going to do is take it and slice it. Just like so. Most people only eat one thigh. Take your plate. You're going to add the rice that we cooked a little bit earlier. syrup, drizzle it over. Mm, so good. Enjoy. Hey, it's mom and this week we made our video in three parts. The rice, the teriyaki sauce, and the chicken. If you like this and you want to stay for the rest, you're going to click here and here for the next two parts. If you guys like this video, make sure you share it with all your friends so that they can see it too. Leave your comments below, like this page, don't forget to subscribe to my channel also. And if you have any questions, email me at momscookingadvice at gmail.com. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time. Cheers.